Hey there, a big thank you to Shave, Shalom, Mega, Goody, Mick, Ian, Shelvin, and Corrupt, and Micah, Cassell, Blaine, Bortu, Cassilla, Cyber, and King, Snatch, Okashi, by Co Coalition, a Seekers, Twist, and the Cold Cheese, Stephen Austin, Dan Corset, you know, Ethan, Goral, Chick, and also a Mortal Donkey. By clicking the join button down below and contributing to the channel financially. If you do enjoy the content, please consider clicking that like button, subscribing, and ringing that bell. It helps all the content grow even further. We also stream live at twitch.tv forward slash let's suffer together. Enjoy the show, my friends. Hey now, welcome back to Noita. I'm Supper of Let's Supper Together back in the mountains, my friends. And today, oh my god, well, we'll get into what today is all about first. But introducing the main man himself, the legend of Noita, Prisket. How you doing, man? Hello. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good tonight. Yeah, the master one builder himself. Beautiful to have you on board, my friend. Mm -hmm. Right then. Shall we get right down to business? There's been a bit of jank, and on the grapevine, there's been mumblings about explosive detonator. And um, we gave it a little try in yesterday's YouTube video, and I've done a tiny, a tiny bit of sight. It's like basically none. Um, so you might be kind of surprised about what we might be able to try and pull off. And again, we haven't actually practiced this, but we're gonna we're gonna go around the world, seeing what we can do, and. Um, Seeing how we can take explosive detonator to the next level. Now, you've heard a bit on the grapevine, haven't you, Priscop, about the jank of explosive detonator? Yeah, it's it's a really weird spell, and the fact that it works on more than just your explosive spells that you put out in the world. It will modify and just affect basically any projectile type spell that's out there in the world. It's super jank, but in a good way. So. If you didn't watch yesterday's YouTube video, we'll give you a bit of an update. Explosive detonator, as it is written, says, All nearby explosive spells cast by you instantly detonate. So, you wouldn't expect... Something like that, would you? Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, come on, man. You're, you're ruining everything, shotgun man. But... <laughs> the complete deletion of projectiles just by using it once. And the lovely thing about it, as I was shocked by it, I, I talked to Prisket before, and you were shocked, completely blown away by what specific element, Prisket? Just the fact that it deletes any projectile in the area. Well, also the lack of cast delay and recharge time as well. That too. I, yeah, the introduction. I would expect there to be yeah. a. Yeah, I was expecting. I was. Ex I was expecting there to be like, I don't know, maybe like a 0.5 to recharge time on this spell, because it seems like a type of spell that Nola would only want you to use once in the like every once in a while. Hmm. You know, just something to blow up your explosive boxes or your uh, unstable crystals or no, the like the purple crystals. I forget their names. They're called pipe bombs in the code, but <laughs> I forget what their actual name is. But yeah, I think there'd be like just some heavy recharge time. To yeah, somehow. That spell as well. I don't think this is intended. You know, it's one of those I got the feeling. Yeah. It's not intended. Uh, might be something they just threw in there, but nobody really knew what it was up to or what its potential was at the time when they made it. So they just kind of left as is, and because of the way they ha the lack of updates to the game since the epilogue update. Just kind of there. So, as you just saw, it can't stop the spiders. And I think we caused that explosion. We're going to hide now. Hide away from the enemy. I think they're mad. Anyway, luckily, let's run away. Hello. Oh, no, I was think No, we didn't cause that because we weren't using the explosive detonator. That was just a natural consequence of me being around. We're using our travel ones today. Always cast Matic Eater Chainsaw and, you know, very fast one. Unrealistic one, really. And nice little teleport wand as well. That's our travel one, so we can travel around the world nice and nice and smooth. But all we really need, and all you'll really need to delete one set of bullets anyway, is one explosive detonator. I've made this one. Again, the castellate and recharge time are very realistic. The mana, not so much, but this only costs 50, extra. so... A couple high mana low capacities on a wand will we'll get you that, those numbers. Aye, absolutely. And again, yesterday, taking 
really a back buy. Hopefully someone in particular can find right now in here. I mean, if he's... Oh, my gosh. Well, um, hello, <laughs> another ghost. So, works on his wonders. Oh, hello. Don't worry, we've got so many extra lives. So he can't shoot me, even when it's run out. Hold on. I'm being melted and frozen, and that's a bad thing. Yeah, really but as you see, it. not just enemy shots, but also it will remove my shots. It's not removing the chainsaw, though. Ah, here we are. If I can put this guy out of fire. Oh, I need to. This is what happens when you do things live. We have been um, <laughs> personal gravity fielded, which is great. It's hmm. not great. Ah, there we go. Ah, oh, Shaman. Ah, didn't seem to work on him as well. Sh ah, not all mages seem to be uh, able to be removed. Don't worry, we've got extra lives. It's absolutely fine. I wanted to find a torso that wasn't on fire. Which is um, one thing I've forgotten to give myself. If you'll excuse me just a moment. Oh, you leave me alone. This is very quick. It, oh, uh, see you later. <laughs> All saying I, you know, just you, you miss the small details sometimes. There's a lot to think about in the game. Oh yeah. And I keep on thinking this one is the one that's deleting bullets. It's not, and I'm uh, teleport dude one. will have his bullet deleted. However, I was using There's the wrong one. Ah, perfect. So the one thing that shocked me completely yesterday, melee dudes, melee attack is classed as a projectile. And yep. they can still freeze. They still freeze me. But they can't melee you, which is insane. Now, the next logical step is to turn this into an actual wand you could use and exploit for great profit. Because, well, you can delete bullets. Yeah, you can do a hitless run. I mean, probably. Um, if you really pay attention, a lot easier. But, I mean, that's just one type of run. I mean, the whole world of this game is a lot larger than just avoiding being hit. You want to kill people, right? So, I had a little science. The one science I did do was if a long, if the chainsaw works, which it clearly does, it's popping along quite nicely, and I'm losing extra lives. The next logical while step was to uh, see if a long-distance cast works. Go ahead, Priscilla. Yeah. And while you're on, while you're still here at the coal pits, are you able to find one of the mama bats? Because uh, her... When she spawns the babies, I'm pretty sure those are classed as projectiles as well. They are. Because, yeah, I recently made the Summon Hamey spell, and I used kind of the same framework of uh, the Mama Bat. And so her, her, her spawn should be children, or like her children should be projectiles. There she is. So we'll see, we'll see if this works with her. This... I'm pretty sure that's worked. Get in the wall. Well, Get in the liquid. Right oh, right uh, everybody's... Uh, the little, little, yeah. There we go. Oh, it does. Oh, did it though? I'm no, sure it's it because it hits the ground right away. If it hits the ground, it'll spawn the entity. Everybody's dead. It's just me and her now. Yeah. There it is. It's just not. Yeah, it doesn't. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> it kills the. It kills the the baby bat as soon as it spawns because the. It, for those who don't know, the baby bat from the bumba bat here is a projectile until it hits the ground or something for it. and then as soon as it hits the ground or the projectile itself expires it will turn into the actual entity it just has the, the projectile just has the same uh, sprite component as the actual entity where is but it yeah, about um weaponizing this uh um, yeah. what you were saying suffer weaponizing so the chainsaw obviously works one would assume single frame shots work and also from the enemy you could probably take that into account that single frame shots would be in effect like like the spiders very close up melee it might be a projectile technically but it's so close range like a chainsaw that it activates hence why you can stop a you know tentacle monster doing a tentacle because it's more than one frame but with a spider it's single frame eat your face off. So the chainsaw works. Yeah. You can clearly see it. We've damaged people with this wand already. So the next logical step, does a long distance cast work? And 
Oh, I need to get into a place. I will make our little box here, and because I think we can try it here <laughs> before we, uh, you know. So if the long distance cast works, which it seems to, and there seems to be a chainsaw on the end of it, because obviously we've built a wand that should work, should allow me to stand still as well, while deleting bullets, and is fast enough to just about delete every bullet. If you're, this is with that amount of distance, the long distance cast gives you. You don't need it to be super fast, although we could dismantle this one now since we don't really need it, since we've proved the point. Uh, do we need the mana? Not really. It's not a bit faster, is that? I hate trying to build ones on the fly. I'm terrible. But <laughs> there you go. Uh, want to slow it down now? Want to slow it down now? I want to slow it down mana. now. Slow it down too much. Oh, come on. That's not bad. Put the mana, or put the mana before the chainsaw at the front. Uh, put the cha chainsaw before the triple. That's a bit better. That's a good chainsaw. Yeah, there we go. That, again, we don't want it too fast, but we don't want it too slow, because one, we're using a wand that has immense amount of mana. We want to at least, you know, build it so it's realistic. If you're spamming 50 mana per second, yeah, you could get more mana, but you'd need to have an even longer wand, and then you get, you just get into trouble. Um, so having it at that rate seems, seems realistic. Now, Priskip, your call. Put me in danger. Who are we gonna go fight? Uh, hmm. How about Wizard King? Oh hell yeah! Let's go Wizard King. Known for a severe amount of mage projectiles. Also various other attacks that, um, you know, scary, very scary. He is a very scary fight. He's about the only fight that I really fear too much. Him and Salvian are the two boss fights in the game that I, I'm pretty pretty scared of. Yeah, I feel Pit Boss would be another good one, but seriously, e either or, you know, going up against. I was thinking, hmm. I was thinking Salvian, but since he, in vanilla he has that shield that protects him every time you hit him for a couple uh. of seconds. Yeah. Long distance cast and shield don't go well together. If you've ever tried to no. fight Scott or Steve with a long distance cast, you know you fail. Yeah. Even, things like even a warp cast too with a shield. Oh boy. That you can get in some serious trouble with warp cast and shields. So this is the safe route where you go are basically gone from the right hand side of the boss fight, pushing all the way to the right. As we've done in one of the old boss runs recently. All the yeah, way to Curse Rock. Right then we hit the Curse Rock, luckily. Ow. I can't dig through it, but I didn't actually think it'd hurt me. It does. <laughs> it yeah, still it does. does. Yep. Yeah, need a bunch of stainless in order to survive that, as well as uh, gas blood to not get stained from your own blood. I hate the flashing, so if you look. Excuse me a second, I'm just gonna. Um, you know. All the damage so far has been pretty much caused, you know, not due to the wand, my good people out there. And yeah, that'll do. Ah, right. uh, get cringe behind that. Spam it. Look. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> as long as it's not flashing, I'm completely happy with that. Yeah, flashing is annoying. Well, I wish I could figure out a way to remove that. Well, traveling through this biome in itself is dangerous. Oh yeah. But we Which haven't actually one tested. Of the scariest places. If it actually damages, before you go into a boss fight, you should probably test if your long distance cast wand does the job. Probably, you know. Oh, some confirmation that it at least took him out a little bit. Yep. Now, if it's just a single chainsaw on the end of a long distance cast, it's going to do some damage, but not the whole lot. Yeah, I would recommend probably putting a like a damage up or a heavy shot or something on it. Ah, with the... No, oh, no, you got, you got, you got a bunch yeah, we got, of... Yeah, we got, got plenty. Of yep. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, 10 damage again. Uh, the intent was always to put ourselves in a minute's amount of danger, and we need our protection. Damage equals good protection. I think we can all agree. Hello. 
<laughs> I just, it's insane. It's literally the most broken thing I've pretty much ever seen. Um, and I, we've seen a lot, you know? Deleting polymages projectiles. Yeah. That brings, me, that brings me great joy. So, I'm gonna put myself in full danger. I'm gonna stand out in the open. Of course. Normally we would hide here, you know? Hide behind some wall. Come and get me. Point. It can debuff you, but we can take out his orbs. I say I'm gonna stand still. If I don't move, I say I can move my wand out of the way like that on red orbs. Yeah. Doesn't even. Yeah, and if he puts me in a wall against a wall, kind of dangerous in a way. Take out the mage if I can in my spare time. Because if it gets too close, I have a f feeling, as with the when we were talking about the enemies, uh, when we were talking about the enemies. Being able to hit you if it's a one-frame spell. If I get too close, the enemy can... Even if it's a multi-frame spell, they can get close enough to instantly put it on, put the spell directly on you, straight away. Yeah, he's, he's trying his mage shots there, but they're just not getting through. Like, as soon as they spawn, they, they get killed. Easy like as boss fight. Of, yeah, you can see a flash of blue and pink in that from his hand there but spells just aren't coming through. Who's next? Do we, want, do we want to pop up the Mecha Colby since he's like the closest? Oh, hell yeah. Because I want to see if this works on his rockets. Tiny has a lot of melee damage, and as we've said before, um, yeah. uh, I've Tiny... got so many extra lives. I can't dig through that. <laughs> Tiny <laughs> is... Tiny is mostly melee damage. I'm not sh Does he even have projectiles? Yes. I don't even... He does? He just okay. he has those big I, green ones that home in on you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I couldn't remember if Tiny had uh, projectiles or not. It's been a while since I played with Tiny and let him live for <laughs> more, than, <laughs> more than a little bit because he's just that scary of a boss that if you let him live for long enough, <laughs> he'll, and he'll get you. But, but the uh, power plant yeah. being one of the worst places in the game. I hate it. You get lost. Oh. There is a huge amount of damage from both enemies. Oh, uh, long distance yeah. cast the... Yeah, while we're teleporting. That won't work. Hmm. You put it on the matter you want. Have I? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm actually using a teleport <laughs> bolt. You see, I am the... Mo this is why I bring Priskip along, right? Because I am a severe incompetent. However, I like it that way. Uh, for myself, anyway, you know? And having Prisk... Ah, pop up. Having Prisk up here, you know, it's an educational video where he teaches me a lot. That's, you know, I like being taught. I just happen to forget it instantly, you know? But all hey, you people you out me. there... Hey, you are... Uh... You taught me how to play this game. I just returned a favor. <laughs> Hopefully, I didn't teach you all my bad habits. <laughs> well, you taught me the basics. Ooh, I, I got hit there. Was that because I was too close? You see, it's taking them out. You see, the shots are getting close because this isn't a really, really, really fast one. Um, again, with really fast ones as well, if it's like any, uh, what, some other janky things, uh, things can go wrong, you know? Things can fail. I, I don't know why some... It's not that the code fails or something like that. The game mechanics can just get fucky. So, you know, I think it's best to have it... The game can start to lag and the sound can go all fucky as well if you're doing a chainsaw that fast constantly. Because if you're using this an entire run... I don't know. It's one of those that... Especially for the YouTube video, we want it to be safe. And there might be other reasons for it. But. And from... What I've heard about the chainsaw is that it's a bug with the audio engine queuing and just getting overloaded and not actually executing the sounds from the chainsaw because of how fast it fires. Not 100% on it, you'd have to ask uh, other folks in the community about how that works. But yeah, I'm trying to find Mecha Colmy. Yeah. In the ass. This is another reason I hate this place. I'm trying to find Mecha Colmy is the worst. I think it's over to the. I've gone too far to the well, right. Maybe. That's the lower overgrown cabin, so up and right, up and right. Oh, he's and... got a wand. I was wondering what that was. What? Jesus. <laughs> was that a meteor wand? Yep. Many, many meteors. Oh. Up into the right. 
I am gonna heal again because I hate the flashing. Again, all the healing we're doing. Oh, I lost the oh, I don't... This is why I hate this place. You know, you stand still. You stand still once, and you know someone will find you. Enemies are invisible. There's a lot of fire around here. Um... I think the way to find Mecha Colmy in vanilla mode is to like a, a good way to find him is to go to the nullification altar and drop straight down. Oh. But. I mean, if you wander around this place for long enough, you'll, you'll find them. Just it listen is... for when the audio changes to boss music. If yeah, you go the to the right speeders. in the desert, you're still kind of low. <laughs> in yeah. the old boss speedruns, this place is the worst. Ah, oh, we found it. There it is. Right. There is one thing I will probably get killed by, and I will be hugely surprised if it saves and gets rid of his projectile. The beam. So you put me in a lot of danger. Where is he? Beam. Oh, there he is. Down, down left. Because we have to get close for the beam as well. Ooh. It's... Nope, not getting rid of it. However, if you get up close and the projectiles don't hurt you, it's not hard to get out of the beam. Uh, again, as a demonstration... Oh, he's taking damage, though. And we barely lost... Yeah, I don't think he has... I don't think he has slice of unity like he does projectile unity. I think we've locked him. I think... Oh, no, he's doing the beam. The beam will still get you, but it looks like the rockets and that that is firing. The rockets are still the thing. The rockets are the thing that distract you. All his other attacks distract. Well, the enemies distract you as well. So if you nerf the enemies around here, nerf his missiles. Just watch out for the beam. You know. Again, going close to an enemy is our biggest weakness. But again, we've put this well. well with the help of Prisket, put this one together in a matter of minutes with very little science. And, again, it's one of those that there's going to be huge upgrades available for this. And just, this can go so far for a broken mechanic. Again, um, fascinating, really. And, again, this is only the start, really. But uh, giving this to the community... Well, it's not... Again, I heard this on the grapevine. And, again, there's been other one builders like Alias Caloresis. And, you know, Priskip alluded to his broken jankiness as well. So... Big props oh, yeah. to great one builders out there, such as those people. And again, like providing the, um, I said, a framework. The, you know, getting the word out there in the first place. I think that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I'm so thinking, we can. I'm trying to think of uh, who do we who we could go to next. I was thinking Leviathan, but he only takes 0.01 to slice, and there's no slice immunity or uh, slice weak anchors. Mm. We'll see if I get pullied by launching myself up. Ah, I look, ah, man, come on. Hey, what are you doing? I mean, we could go the, we could go south if you want. If you want, to, if you want, to, if you want to try him. But yeah, good luck. <laughs> uh, we'll see, because again, the distance thing. Oh, how right. His, his, so from my experience with uh, remaking the Salvian fight in Purgatory mod, um, his wands are actually projectiles. I wonder if we could delete those. I'm wondering what two long, I don't yeah. know spells, long dis two long distance casts. Hmm. How long is that? Well, it's double the length. Is it only double? I thought it might have tr uh, times it. No. Because that's actually what? perfect length. Actually, when you're surrounded by enemies, like that fight we just had previously with Mecha Colony, it doesn't really matter on length as much as clearing out problematic people in the first place. Yeah. Now... And you could use... You could probably use something like a Teleport Cast if you have a wand that's really stunken for mana, because um, Teleport Cast is 100 mana drain. But that will make it so you can just kind of like hit anything that's in the general vicinity around you. Right, here's the thing as well. Yeah. Can I heal... While doing all this, probably it's, if you. Uh, it's a one for a AM heal. You see, the thing gets removed immediately because Circle of Vigor only needs one frame to heal you, basically. I'm hurting myself because I put damage on it. Um, yeah, but we can you, heal. You have damage on there. Again, you can break the hell out of this. If I took the damage off, because I'm wrapping it, it's just extending over. So yeah. just ignore the massive amounts of pain I'm taking. Yeah, Tao is drawing the damage up, which is applying the damage up to the circle of vigor within the cast state, so that's why he's hurting himself. But ignore that, and <laughs> he'll be fine. So here are the rules that we have learned. 
You can use Explosive Detonator to remove enemy projectiles. You can't remove beams. You can't remove anything that's one frame. Or, depending on how fast you fire, enemies will be able to shoot, and it will get a certain distance, of course, depending on how fast you spam. Maybe once, you know, maybe even faster would be profitable. But we don't need to, because it's a demonstration, and we're learning as we go. But... Yeah, it's usable, so we'd, we've, you know, as long as we've got that in the bag. Uh, oh, right, long distance cast. Two of them, because <laughs> having the distance against... Why is I'm going to take a bit of damage off. Huh, do I have... Oh, no, the long distance cast, not the long distance cast, so the one just before my cursor is just a representation of... Uh, yeah. yeah, the long distance cast has its own particle effect, but you see the chainsaw coming off the second one. Beautiful. Yeah, Salvian could be a fun test of this because his wands technically are projectiles. It's and this is the, why uh, I should have actually. Oh, I'm gonna double. That's... I'm gonna go back and double up the long distance cast on the teleport and get up there. Um, it would just be quicker. Because yeah. again, we could edit That's all this, but yeah, right editing you miss out on some real moments and some actual learning processes that you might miss in an editing video. You know those eureka moments and stuff like that. Ah, oh, the folly around here. I really need to slow it down a little bit, man. I'm a dangerous yeah, motherfucker. Over... Overground has a lot of potions and yeah. have a fair bit of polymorphic, so, you know, it's got to be careful in this place. <laughs> Don't mind the damage as well. It's not representative of uh, anything, really. <laughs> there we go. Just consider it charity to the enemies because we are mocking them a little bit today. And, uh... Ah, oh, good old Sand Cave. I love the music in Sand Cave. I mean, it's obviously gonna delete, and he hasn't got no beams. I think this is less of a challenge, the Pyramid boss, so we'll ignore it and yeah. get a quick Salvian fight done. And, uh, three bosses? Um, I mean, we have used ones that are above, uh, normal, uh, runs, uh, you know, yeah. uh, capabilities, unless you... I say it like a casual run, anyway. Not a boss, not an old boss run. You easy to make these ones on all the boss run. That's the exciting thing about it. Uh, oh yeah, long this. Oh, nice teleport. Yay! Don't crush. <laughs> when you're traveling this fast, it's why I didn't want to make a uh, super fast one as well while I'm recording, while I'm, you know, sending Priskip my uh, recording. Well, you know, sending him the footage through Discord and recording my poor computer. And it's going to be melting, especially if I went a shot every frame. Oh yeah. Right then. Double Let's long width. The Double long distance cast for an extra bit of length. With the damage yeah. on the chainsaw. The explosive detonator. We shall get our knowledge which we have certainly got today. God damn it. <laughs> Familiar knowledge? I'm not sure about that, but Hello. There he is. How close do we need to be to him as well? Um how close does a project? That's, yeah, you can do it off, uh, like, far away. You don't need to be close. Yeah. From what I've seen in the code, it'll be for any projectile that's uh, loaded in the game. So. Definitely doing good damage. It's slow, but steady. And he's... You're killing... He, there's no wands. No wands. So you're, you're killing the wands as they spawn. So, yeah, they are projectiles. Oh. <laughs> Because in, because I've been re in Purgatory mod, I've been uh, remaking the Salvian fight recently, and the wands are actually projectiles of his. That well, projectiles, and then they shoot more projectiles off the wands. But the wands, like I said, they're they're projectiles. So the explosive detonator it gets rid of any projectile spell within the area because of the way it's coded. So you kind of just they're bullying this guy. <laughs> Might be something I, uh, fix Yes, in Purgatory, just in case you're not aware, Priskip is making a mod of Nightmare Mode where he is bringing all of the bosses and major improvements into Nightmare Mode. Where Nightmare Mode yes. in the real game, you know, needs a bit of an over overwork. Priskip's doing that. I will leave his nice. link to his Discord in the description if you're interested, and it's fantastic. I played through it on stream the other day, did 
um, the freshest version. It's not even out yet, you know? And fantastic stuff all across the board. The amount of, you know, detail and work that's going into it and the love and the support for, you know, all boss nightmare running. It's beautiful. Uh, that's just, that's just stupid. He didn't even spawn his wasps. Have you noticed the music started a little bit dying? Uh, well, it's, that's because of the chainsaw sound bug. Indeed. Yeah. But that was simply lovely. It, it's why I use luminous drills instead of chainsaws whenever I can. But uh, that's that's just stupid. He didn't even spawn anyone. <laughs> I, 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 oh, I need to fix that spell in purgatory or else you guys are just going to be able to yep. just cheese Salvian with that. Anti-cheese technology is needed. I would implore the devs to fix this. Else we, we, we can't help ourselves. We're going to abuse everything we find. Oh, yeah. Unless it is a, I mean, like a proper, like, I don't know, because this, it depends if you see it as part of the game. It's a difficult one. Like, obviously the devs didn't intend it, really. Probably, unless they figured it was something they wanted to hide and figured people will, you know, possibly find in the future. But, yeah, it's one of those that everybody ignored that spell, man. I, I, like, like I said, I've hardly ever seen it really be used, but mm. it does have it, 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 its strengths, as we've shown here tonight. Absolutely. But thank you for joining me today, Priskip, and giving a little bit of the uh, company, the knowledge, and yeah, the support hey, to the entire Naughty community that you constantly and, you know, freely give. It's beautiful, man. I appreciate it, and thank you. Um, any final words? I mean... Hog, yeah, I this spell's definitely going to get a nerf from Purgatory. <laughs> 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 After seeing what it just did to Salvian, oh, good lord, I'm, I, I, I'm going to have to fix this. <laughs> Yep. I think the entire game is, uh, again, for no-hit boss running, the anti-cheese rule set, you can't use that, man. You just can't. You could literally complete the entire game just with that and then chainsaw the boss, and there's no challenge in it. So, But for a regular, any percent, no-hit run, you want your tree achievement? There you go, my friends. And as one of the most crazy spells in the game, I'm glad we could bring to you today, and thank you all for watching. Highly appreciate your support. That's a big thank you to Priskip. That's a big thank you to the audience back at home. And big thank you from me to everybody who's watching, everybody who's part of the Nota community, and everybody who continues to make it the game that it is, and the community that it is also. Uh, YouTube, you're here. Uh, like button, subscribe, like, subscribe, comment, pog, you know. Twitch.tv forward slash Let's Up Together as well. We stream live daily at twitch.tv forward slash Let's Up Together. Also, Priskip. You want to be checking out the twitch.tv forward slash Priskip, clicking that follow button. So when he's live, you can go check him out. Give him five, ten minutes of your time. You know, say hello in the chat. Let him do the rest of the work and entertain you. And I, I am confident you'll want to stick around and see what he has to show you. And be a part of his community, you know, as well as mine. Of course, you know. Hey, we're, you know, we're always in each other's, uh, you know, company. And uh, in one way, shape, or form. So it'll be great to see you around. But in... Till next time, my friends. Take care, take it easy, enjoy the rest of your night, wherever you are in the world, and uh, go remove those spells. See you later, guys. Bye for now.